Today, Chris is going to show you guys how the Spin Twist Spray Right Paint Rig works. Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitarist. Thanks for watching. So this is a video that we have been wanting to do for a while. Um, our friend Bill Hendricks sent us his uh, um, version of the Fender Custom Shops paint rig that he has um, uh, designed and built and it's really cool. He sent us one. We did an unboxing video on it. And uh, today we're going to try it out for the first time. We're going to be, uh, Chris is going to show you um, how the rig works and he's going to show you how to do a really cool sunburst on an Ash Body Stratocaster. So um, two for the price of one video. So we're going to get a little bit of paint instruction from Chris and we're going to see how the Spin Twist Spray Paint, uh, Spray Right Paint Rig works. I have high, high hopes for um, for both. So uh, let's jump right in. Let's grab Chris and tell him we're ready for him and I'm looking forward to it. So let's let's check it out. Let me get all my spray guns and stuff assembled. Spray guns, spray gun. All right, how, why are you using spray guns? I think I'm just going to use one. Just going to use one and like do amber and then, and then add and stuff to it? Stuff, yeah. Or do you do it the other way? Do you go red? Sometimes do you do I do the outside first and then go to the inside, but this one I think I want to be able to see just how dark yeah, okay. um, the, the amber is first. Cool, I think that's a neat idea. Although I really like the way it looks too with the uh, where you put the amber on after it. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think because it's going to be almost the same color, it'll still be pretty, pretty soft. It won't be a really hard line. That's the trick, so. I think, to any sunburst, and a lot of people have asked about that, like, you know, or, or have or have commented on how it looks better when you do it, and it's a, that real gradual fade rather than yeah. a super hard line. I like that look better. <clears throat> um, I do too. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I think that one of the reasons that people get that super hard line when they're doing sunburst is they aim the gun in a direction that they think is safer. That is to say, they aim the gun off the body rather than towards the body. Yeah, or directly at it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and I watch that guy from Fender a lot spray stuff, and he changes it up depending on what he's what he's doing and, and what the look is that he wants. Yeah, because he's going he for specific looks. So yeah. Look. Yeah, then he sprays it direct. To get that harder Straight edge. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I... I, I for my for my money, I prefer like a, a less of a bullseye look and more mm -hmm. of a. Yeah, it's funny how they got more and more bullseye as time went on. Yeah. And they started out fairly gradual and nice looking, I think, and then they got downright targety after a while. So, oh well. Hmm. You know, something else people think, I think, is that colors are just what they are and they're, and the fact of the matter is that you custom mix pretty much every color every time. Yeah. <clears throat> so we start with a Tamco, uh, that's the Intercoat Clear? Uh, yeah, Intercoat Clear. Okay. Yeah, that's, I like that stuff. It's uh -huh. basically the DBC 500 that PPG offers and everybody has a blending clear or inner coat clear mm -hmm. so that's a that's a cool thing to use and then you're going to reduce it a little bit yeah it's 50 50. all right so this paint here does not actually it just dries it doesn't have a catalyst in it correct so you kind of uh, when when we first started using the modern paints um mike learn told us that anything that you can mix with lacquer you can mix into inner coat clear so we're going to be using the um, the trans tint liquid stains that we get from Jeff uh, over at Trans Trans Tint, or you can get them direct from Stu Mac too. Um, so that's a that's a that's a cool thing if you kind of think about this this color. And that's not exactly the same as lacquer, obviously, but if you think about it like you would use lacquer for mixing colors, is that is that about right, Chris? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah. oversimplification, right? Yeah. For this one, I'm going to shoot the whole thing in amber, and then, like I said, I'm going to dump the rest of the amber uh, back into the cup and 
Actually, I may separate a little bit of it just in case I need to to darken something up a little bit. Oh, so you have a little bit so of amber I have a left bit left over, but I don't think I will have to do that. Okay. Um, and then we'll add a little bit of uh, brownish and maybe maybe a little bit of red, okay. depending on how it looks. And so we're not going for the uh, the the. Uh, three color burst like we used on the other uh, no, all their bodies not right? even a two color burst <clears throat> like like a traditional uh, 50s two color burst so what would you call what we're gonna do today oh, I threw my stick away um, I'd call this an amber burst or a, a sienna burst maybe Ooh, sienna iced tea burst okay although Gibson has used as commandeered iced tea burst and it looks just like a regular sunburst. Okay. To me. Like one of their regular. I think they just well, renamed it. It's kind of a faded tobacco, isn't it? Or, or uh, like what? What? A, what? A fifty-year-old yeah. tobacco sunburst Maybe. looks like? Yeah, yeah. Or what if? Or what? What was the one that? But iced tea doesn't look like that. Yeah. Yeah. The it's funny to to look at some of those old guitars and and go, oh, that had red on it because it's all yellow now. The all the red is gone. Yeah, all the red seeped through. Yeah, <clears throat> or uh, disappeared. So you got a detail gun here we're going to yeah, use? Yeah, so I got a little detail gun. All right. Look how cute. I wish the detail guns didn't have a little flip out on the finger. My finger always hits those. And yeah. And it gives um, me an owie. Yeah. I've been trying to change up how I hold the gun um, because of that. When I was doing all the, the, the Challenger Deluxes, the JJJs, and I was yeah. doing three at a time. Um, yeah, I was beating my hands up pretty good. We could just bend, we could bend that stuff out of the way, maybe, and, and see Maybe. <laughs> cut it off. Yeah, just hack that yeah. part off or uh -huh. add, a, add a little lip to it. Yeah. All right, cool. So we got right. a little amber in the gun and we're ready to, we're ready to shoot some paint? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So Chris, what's your initial impression of the spin twist paint right or spray right paint rig. I think it's cool. I think it should be uh, should be pretty neat. Have you have you kind of fiddled around with the like how to manipulate the guitar while it's on there? Or? Uh, a little bit, yeah. After that last live video that we did, I, I spent a little bit more time thinking about how I'm going to actually use it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Make sure it clears my wall. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty neat. We got the new um, we got the new sticks. Oh yeah, I forgot. That, uh, mount directly into the uh, two holes, or two of the holes for the neck. So that's cool because you don't have to drill new holes. Then. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's really cool. So and they fit um, at least the holes that we drilled. They they're they're the exact right size, in fact, the right size screws. So so I'm not wallowing out those holes, and the screws are fairly short. Yeah. So, let me get my mask. Oh, let's tack rag. Tack rag. So what are you trying to get off with the tack rag uh, there? Dust. <clears throat> Just bits of dust, dust and cooties? Yeah, so I've, I've wiped it down with a degreaser. Um, naphtha. And... Okay, so after you sanded the uh, the, the Simtech sealer, mm -hmm. you wiped it down to get a bunch, you blew it off to get all the dust off. Correct. And then you wiped it down with naphtha and some uh -huh. alcohol or water or something? Yeah, I used, I used naphtha this time. Okay. Um, so that, that gets going to get rid of any oils or stuff that... Yeah, yeah, just in case there's any oils that I got on it while I was sanding and, or masking or anything like that. I, okay. I mount the stick and I mount the little hook in it and then I wipe it down so I don't touch it at all. Okay. It's going to be weird because I'm used to spraying sunbursts where I walk around. So if I do this accidentally, sometime, <laughs> <laughs> this is a whole new thing after years and years of walking around guitars. What's uh, what's in the tack rag that grabs the some dust? Sort of, uh, they say it's wax free, but I'd always heard that they had some sort of wax in them, which is funny because we just spent a bunch of time trying to get wax. Yeah, you don't. Okay. Off it. Um, it's got something. It's cheesecloth and. But it's a little so sticky and tacky, so it sticky. grabs yeah. grabs bits. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I'm just talking and, and doing this and probably not doing an overly good job of it. Alright, yeah, so I'll let you I'll let you do <laughs> I'll let you do you here and, right. and that way I don't my mask. I don't get in the way. And we gotta fire the fan too. Alright, I'll I'll get that happening. Alright. <clears throat> good. 
Okay, so this first pass, what Chris is going to do is, like he was saying, he's going to he's going to shoot all of the body with the amber color, and then he'll come back and actually apply the burst. And we'll try and do it just like the guy on uh, on uh, Facebook. Yeah, look cool, man. Chris, yeah. if you uh, if you if we send this video to uh, who's the guy at Fender? That's why I keep calling him the guy at Fender. Is because yeah. I, I I always want to say Jay, but I think it's Joel. Okay. Um, we'll send this video to him. Maybe maybe uh, maybe uh, he'll watch because the last one if we say and and by the way that that tool is very very cool. Oh yeah yeah I, I, yeah. I was getting to that point yeah okay. so if we told him that you had your own spin twist spray right paint rig uh -huh. and your own paint gun maybe uh, maybe you could do finishes at Fender. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone's got to do them, right? Yeah. I like painting. I don't like painting all day. Okay. Which I fear is what I would have to do. Yeah, I think that that uh, if you if you work at a factory, you do what you do all day long. Uh -huh. you don't, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna pour out. It's probably just a waste of a cup, but I'm gonna pour a little bit just in case we want to darken it up. The amber up a little bit. Okay, so that's so we're just saving a sample of the the amber that we had. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're gonna mix some. And now I'm gonna mix some uh, tobacco brown in it. Okay. And we're gonna make it just a little bit darker. So I tried to talk through when you were painting. I hope I got everything right when I was saying it. it sounded right to me. Okay. So that's a few drops. So it's funny because like what it looks like on the stick versus what it looks like when you atomize it and spray it out are two really different things. Yeah. Um, 
But so Chris doesn't want this to be like dark, dark brown. He wants it to just be a very subtly darker yeah. um, version of the yellow that we had. Yeah. That ought to work. Do you want it a little redder? Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to you, man. Whatever you think. I don't think so. I don't want it to be. Now, the important thing that uh, I forgot to mention is that if uh, if you're watching this video and you're kind of trying to get an idea of what you want to do when you sign up for, or if you've already signed up when you come out to the. Uh, the $9,000 Stratocaster workshop is you'll get to use all of this stuff. You'll get to use the uh, the spin twist thing and you'll get to mix your own paints. Um, or you can, you know, have Chris help you with that. Um, or you can just watch or whatever you want to do. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty neat, it's going to be a neat uh, week worth of, of um, um, of fun guitar building and uh, Chris, are you think we're gonna do any UV stuff at the uh, nine thousand dollar Strat workshop? Guaranteed. I think so I too. Think yeah. A whole lot. So I'm not gonna clean out the gun because um, it's just got the same amber in it. Yeah. I'm just gonna slosh it around a little bit and maybe I'll spray some of it because there's probably paint. Yeah, there's probably a little bit of yellow yeah, in the mechanism. Right so I'll sort of spray through. I think that hat looks cool, dude. I think if you're doing sunburst, you should have a hat like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean... How much paint I spilled all over the place. Yep. Alright, so are you ready to start the actual bursting process? Yeah, I think so. You know what I'm going to do when you're bursting? I'm just going to shut up. Okay. It's going to be really hard for me to do. Alright, there will be lots of comments about how I'm doing it wrong. Well, maybe there'll be people who are like, you know, those people are jealous. Uh-huh. Alright, so I know I said I was going to shut up, but what Chris is doing right here is he's getting the pressure on the gun right and getting all the settings right because he's only going to do the, the outline so he doesn't need a huge fan pattern. And of course you have to have all the safety gear. Okay. It's, it's funny that you said like you you'd only used it for just a moment and you already were experiencing some or you were you could see the benefit of the 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 spin guy the spin twist spray right paint rig yes cool that's neat so thank you to bill hendrix for one sending us the uh the the spin twist spray right paint rig and two, um, forgiving me for getting his name wrong in the, uh, for the half hour long unboxing video. Um, but yeah, Bill is a super cool guy and uh, thanks. He, he sent this one out to us gratis um, and he wasn't expecting anything other than, uh, you know, for us to check it out. I told him we'd make some videos and uh, see if we could help him uh, move a couple units. And hopefully that's something that will, uh, will happen. And if you want some more information about the Spin Twist Spray Right Paint Rig. There's a link in the description of the video below, um, the video description below rather, and uh, you can check that out and go check out Bill. And if you have any questions, I'm sure he'd be happy to answer them for you. He's very, uh, he's Johnny on the spot with the emails. So um, yeah, I, I think that you guys should, uh, should if, you, if you do a lot of painting and you're trying to get good at sunbursts and other stuff, we're gonna use this um, 
uh, when we do clear too, is that right, Chris? Yeah, we're gonna use it, I think I'm gonna use it on every bolt-on kind of uh, okay. thing that we do, other than spraying sealer, because I don't want to cover it. Yeah, it could get junked up with sealer pretty fast. Yeah, um, but I think we'll use it when we uh, do UV. Oh, that'd be cool, make, yeah. Yeah, it'll make uh, doing those easy, easy. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of things cool. we'll use it for. Right on.
don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a really excellent color combination. I really dig it. I think it looks really cool, Chris. That's like the, the way those, yeah, I think that's really neat, man. The way those colors blend together, that's that's excellent. Good job. I, I mean, I, I didn't know it was going to look that cool. caramel burst. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I dig it. You think that's good? Yeah, I think so. So what Chris is doing now probably is he's just making sure there's no, you know, light patches that look look wrong. He's going back with the uh, caramely color again. Boy, it looks really cool. Yeah, that's a neat, neat color, you guys. So are you going to spray more amber on top or is it just going to be good to go? I think it's good to go. Yeah, me too. I think it's Probably really neat. Add more, it's just going to, it's, it's pretty, it's uh, pretty blendy, I think. Yeah, it looks is really that, is terrific. Is that blendy? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks great, man. Good. That was an off the cuff kind of a thing. Well, you meant like you just mixed the colors up until they yeah. looked right? Well, yeah, obviously. And uh, it's been a while since I've shot a burst on... Uh, something with, with those, that big of comfort contours on it. Okay. So that was a little bit different. I've been doing a lot of challengers, which have no contours. Yeah. Um, and I've been using darker colors. So. Do you think that would look that those colors would look just as cool on Alder if like someone wanted to do an Alder one with oh, those yeah. colors? Yeah, okay. I think so yeah, yeah, it's a little more. I mean, that's obviously a little more modern kind of a color, but. Yeah, it's neat. But uh, I think it's cool. Yeah. I really dig it. Yeah, and uh, we'll let that dry, and then we'll shoot uh, some clear here in a few minutes. Okay. All right, so Chris is getting ready to spray some clear over a handful of instruments. Um, one is the one that the burst that he just did and uh, another one is kind of a see-through Mary Kay white style And then there's a challenger that needs a round of clear. He's got the um, uh, What we call the 73 finish formula all mixed up and into one of the uh, disposable cups on the Iwata clear gun And what else did I miss Chris? I think that's it. All right. Spin twist, spray right, paint rig in action again. So this first coat is kind of a tack coat. I just say it's not like a full on coat, I don't think. And the 73 finish is. Um, kind of a satiny finish that I really love. It makes the guitar look, doesn't make it look old, but it makes it look not new. And it's, uh, but without beating it up. And man, it's a cool finish. So that's the tack coat, Chris. off it's going to be a satiny color and uh, looking forward to showing you guys that here in a moment so he's pulling out the hooks out of the body so there doesn't get like a little shadow of paint that you know when the uh, um, when the when the paint comes down and hits the the, the guitar body it doesn't bounce off and deflect off the hook in the back that we used to hold it up you can see right there there's a hook Gancho that's holding the guitar body to the um, <clears throat> to our little drying area there, and uh, that's cool because uh, it just takes the spot where the end pin is going to go anyway. So it's uh, you won't ever see the hole where the paint hook was.
is going to do that again uh, in between. He's got to wait for a while for paint to dry five minutes. So uh, we're not going to show you all of that because it seems like, you know, spraying clear. So you've seen is, one clear round, you've seen them all. Yeah, so we'll we come. show one because it's going to be a heavier coat next time. Okay, we'll do that and then, uh, yeah. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so you can actually kind of start to see how that stuff flashes off and it has a satiny sheen to it, which is excellent. Um, so Chris is going to spray another round. We'll get we'll get uh, some footage of him doing that. Not because I think it's uh, something that everybody wants to see, but because I think it's something everybody wants to see. If we don't have it, people will say, "Hey, you should have you should have showed that." So this is going to be a little heavier coat. Okay, like a, a bull coat. It's All right, like a tack coat. seen the rig and now it's over here in the paint booth it's a little lower than uh, I can stand so you'll just have to uh, uh, the video is about the spin twist it's not about me but uh, we're ending the video now so that's a lot more words than I probably needed to say in any event um, uh, we here at Texas Toast Guitars are big big fans of the spin twist spray right paint rig and want to thank Bill Hendricks for sending that to us. Full disclosure, um, we asked him if we could pay him for it. He said no. So this this particular rig is uh, is on loan to us. Um, I guess it's our rig now. Rather, it's not on loan. It's just ours. But he did send it to us. So I you know I just want you to know 
that, uh, um, uh, that he did send this to us. Having said that, um, I'm very, very impressed with build quality, uh, versatility, uh, and how well thought out it was. Just what it can do and how you can spin the whole guitar around. Um, just like they do in the videos that they post from the Fender Custom Shop. Now, this is a body that we painted. Um, you know, Chris doesn't work at the Fender Custom Shop yet, but, uh, um, but I think that you guys can get great results just like this, and a rig like this and a little bit of practice can really help out. Um, uh, like I said, Chris thinks, uh, to use Chris's words, this is rad, and it is. Now, a couple of questions that I do not have answers to. One, how does it work with Satnex? Well, it doesn't really, it's not really uh, um, designed to work with Setnex. So who knows? Maybe Bill will come up with, uh, with a, an extra add-on feature uh, that, you can, that you can get separately. You know, some items sold separately. Um, but uh, I tell you what, if Bill Hendricks uh, decides to design and build and market a set neck adapter for his uh, paint rig, I am in line to buy one. Cool enough? Okay, gang. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up, that sort of thing. If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. You can also join us on YouTube. Either way, a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat stuff like this. Of course, we also appreciate Bill's donation of the Spin Twist Spray Right Paint Rig. That goes a long way to helping us bring you guys neat content like this too. I want you to go and check out in the description below link to um, uh, the Reverb Store for the, uh, the Spin Twist unit and uh, uh, check him out. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Uh, he's, I, I, like I say, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, this is a good unit and I think that if you guys um, are looking for something to, uh, to hold your guitar while you're painting it that can be articulated and you can manipulate while painting, this is a good way to go, you guys. Um, I'm convinced. So, um, uh, anyway, let's, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, so again, thanks for watching, you guys. And this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, maybe you could build a cool tool like Bill did. And, uh, and if you are, maybe you should start your own YouTube channel. That's what I did. So, guys, have a great week. We will see you next time.